What's up, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Cameron Fodder. Welcome back to another walkthrough or guide for Tomes and Grims, the base game Vermintide 2. We are currently playing in the Winds of Magic DLC, and as far as I'm aware, there is actually a content update coming now with the Halloween content finished and removed from the game. From what I've seen on Steam, we're going to get some Drakenfell stuff, so I'll have to log into the beta at some point and have a squiz. But now to the matter at hand. Tomes and Grims. Uh, similar deal as usual, playing with bots on Recruit. Currently playing as the Ironbreaker Dwarf with a double-handed axe. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, I've sort of changed what I'm trying to... well. Obviously, I'm still trying to learn everything that I can about this game, but my current thing that I want to learn is uh, I'm going damage characters only for the most part, just because I'm trying to learn how to block, dodge, and overall be better at dealing with various enemies like Horde Rats and Chaos Warriors and Stab Rats and Storm Vermin. See, learning the animations, learning timing, and not pulling out a grenade when a Stormy is trying to uh, murder my face. See, like that. Just, you know, learning to be a little bit patient, being more aware of my surroundings, not having music going, kind of. Just generally being a little bit more useful to my team, and I feel like if I can, at least the way that I've sort of justified it to myself, if I can play a damage dealing character and learn how to dodge, block, push, as well as, you know, generally be better at wave clearing, as well as, you know, just in general, being able to smack enemies around a bit more, then I'm going to be just a little bit more useful to my teammates when I do play true multiplayer on difficulties like Cataclysm and Legend. This. Then a bit of placement of bombs and and yeah. So I was not aware of my surroundings very well at all. We've lost two bots and I'm stuck. Oh boy. This does not bode well for this run. I swear I put this on recruit. We'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Um, apparently I had been trying to solo a cataclysm difficulty run. Anyway, first tome. Come to the first cavern before we go and hit up the uh, cart. Left of this pillar, entryway just there. Help the bot. So left, there is Ravage Star there, and then Ammunition back gone. aways, Tome. We'll pick that up first, grab the ammunition, and off we go. Um, I still need to do some more exploring in terms of Ravaged Art for various different maps. As far as I know, they all spawn in the same place, but once you've picked it up, they don't spawn again for memory. Anyway, so that's that done. Let's go get our first Grim. All right, time for our first Grim. When you pick up a barrel close to after the after the collapse, it, a shield appears and tells you where to place your barrel. This game is really helpful when it wants to be, and not helpful during other times. Anyway, let's grab this first Grim. Go through here. That all disappears. Oh, look, there's actually... Oh, crap. 
Come on. Let me through. Stay close. Watch the flank. And then the ladder. Specially marked chest. Boop. Done. There's another barrel over there, which I don't think you're gonna come back anyway. All right, so that's Das is grim. Let's go for the tome. All right, time for our second tome. Note to self: it is really, really bloody dark. So if you blink, you'll miss it. Are we bringing that card or not? Kruber, pick that up. Thank you. Goodbye. Stick with the cart. That includes getting stuck behind for whatever reason. It's also all the way uphill, so if you like fall off or lose track of the cart, it will roll back down. But you do generally tend to want to stick with it, in spite of all the impressive shiny lights. Next book. All right. After a bit of searching, I have found where I need to be. Apparently getting attacked by a horde. But no, it's beside the point. We're up for our next Grim. So, coming through here, crouching through the hole. Up the ladder. Ooh, shiny, ever so shiny. And then a bit of a jumping puzzle. Hold on. Can't you leave me alone and let me do this video? Rats. Like, honestly, come on. There he is, climbing up and over. Love the little edge. Ta-da, Grim. Always check all the shiny culverts. This is a fun little hiding spot. Ooh, and there's ammunition up here and everything. Don't mind if I do. And it's just a simple matter of uh, dropping back down. And off we go. Next book. I'll be honest here. This last one is possibly one of the easiest to get. It's the final tome. Short hop, skip, and a jump. Up a ramp, and done. Uh, let's see. Soul Spire's probably got better your ability than the elf or oh, where did that gas right go I have no clue it's also worth noting that as you go over the bridge prior to the second grimoire drop down on the left hand side there is Let's some ravaged art so if you're looking for the art on this map now you know so unfortunately it's not really something that you can go back through and do a guide for once you've gotten it because it disappears after you've grabbed it which I assume is the whole point I think there's a challenge for killing those before you um, before you leave anyway I'll wrap up things here that's where all the tomes and grims are ladies and gents my name is cannon fodder and we'll see you next time thanks for tuning in